They didn't really give you a lot of information until later on. I think YouTube was really a trendsetter there. So as soon as you give, like, normies access to, like, you know, big data, um, some people are gonna, like, obsess over it. Yeah. Some people just, like, they, they lose focus, like, they came with pure intentions and then they got corrupted. Not by money, but by, you know, like, the idea that they could become big, if only ABC. Yeah. They wrecked themselves before they checked themselves. Speaking of wrecked, uh, can I revive Chaz? Uh, Kira can, I think. No. Um, room? Yes. So bad at video games. Speaking of video games, like, um, don't get me wrong, like, I've made a whole thing about, like, video game redemption being a thing on my channel, but at the same time, it's like, oh, I have to play fantasy stuff, or I wish I was playing something else. Like, for example, um, there's a game that, um, Mr. JL wanted me to play, as well as, as uh, Traz. It's a game called Splice, and it finally came out on, um, like, late March. And I've been looking at it, staring at it, but I'm like, at the same time, I've got to finish Fantasy Star 4. <laughs> I, ca I can't... Like, I I've been... I've been in the space where I've had multiple games on the go, and, oh, it just... It, it's not good. You should, you should never do that. Dividing your attention like that. There is, like, I know people that are able to divide their attention and, um, like, burn through games and, and do it in a very disciplined way. Um, for example, Sharadasky. He's very good at that. I'm not. I, I've found that, uh, I have since found out that I'm not very good at it, so I, I don't do it. I stick with one game. Yeah. But, um, especially with the JRPG, in a section where it demands that you grind, I'm like, oh, I don't want to grind. I just want to play a different game, goddammit. Goddammit. I, I wouldn't say that I'm good at multitasking. I'm great at getting distracted, so I could be doing email and then suddenly I'll be, um, uh, doing some programming training and then like, oh, music, I'll do that, and oh, another email came through, and then I've got to get lunch, and then like, oh, I've got to do folding for my laundry, and so, is that multitasking, or is that just being, like, heavily distracted? Let's go with a heart, glass half-full approach, and let's say that I'm really good at thinking about different things. Yes. Yes, I'm really good at doing multiple things in a single day. Glass half full. You're not a failure, Aaron. You're unique and special, and you deserve a hug. You deserve a participation award. Um, anyway. Um, Rune? No, Kira. Okay. Playing video games. Playing video games. Um... Okay. Oh, we're on track, we're on track. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Also, I had a look at the um, the text box um, for the, the chat widget. You'll notice that for Composer's um, comment, ADHD, the, the D's cut off. Um, but it's it's always going to cut off, depending on like what letter is on the edge of the, the, the border 
At least that's what I found. So there's no fixing that. It didn't happen in the other chat widget. But in the other chat widget, I couldn't suppress com commands. Whereas in, in this one, I can. So I'm going to stick with this one. Indeed, Compose. you got to be the opportunist in life. you got to be there to drink other people's drinks. you got to be a, a, a drinker, not a thinker. Evil Eye, what the fuck was that? <gasps> he gave me the Evil Eye. I guess Evil Eye makes you go to sleep. Mm, Ren. Level up. Um, okay. That messed me up big time. Um, as you can see, look at the, um, the TP, the, the magic. It's really shrunk to nothing. Still a bit flimmy congested. I don't know why. Okay. That's good enough. Ren can repair his dumbass. There we go. Oh no. Okay, run away. Ah, oh, disgusting. Those dimensional worm enemies are really shit. Like, bad XP, and they hit like a ton of bricks. Just run away from them. Uh, boo -boo -boo -boo. So, this is where I, like, I I'll give my casual shout out to people. Let's start off with, um, Mr. JPaz. If you're unfamiliar with the work of uh, one Alex JPaz, then you haven't truly lived. Um, to witness an Alex J. Pass stream is to witness greatness. Uh, he has his own, um, programmed, like, um, thing. How would you describe that? Uh, he's a, he's a, a, how do you describe it? You're a full stack software developer? I think that's how you describe yourself. Like, he has designed like an interesting soundboard of sorts where you can mix alerts and it can you can come up with some truly like stupendous combinations job career yeah full stack ah yeah. oh, engineer yeah for real tour yes there's lots of stupendous combinations like i think the um you're well known for um, the Randy Savage cream one, um, and lately, like a lot of the um, wake up, wake up, bitch. Yes, it's an it's an evolving like um, like if if you're familiar with YouTube poop, but in alert form, that's what J uh, J Pass's uh, channel is like. Um, would I say sensory overload? Not sensory overload, although some people do try to overload your senses. That's yeah. Lots of memes happening. It's a good. It's just a, a fun. It's a fun time. If you go to Alex's stream, it can be many things. It could be mellow. It could be like hype as fuck. You don't really know like exactly what you're getting on any one night. But I will say that it's a very entertaining stream. And it's only entertaining because of Alex. So if you're not familiar with Alex, you should just check out his channel. You really should. Like, I've, I've seen Alex, like, on Twitch. I've seen. That's a weird way of, of describing it. I've known about and I've watched Alex for over a year now. Maybe two years at this point? Um... And even though work sometimes gets in the way, family sometimes gets in the way, um, it's always a cool time to go to, to go to an Alex stream and just either lurk or engage. Um, it's just fun. Ah, I mean, you know, I'm, 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 you know, I'm just, I'm just sharing thoughts, just sharing thoughts, Alex. It, it's, it's a fun stream. Like, I don't like um, put people in a box. But like, 
usually when you go to a stream like you know what it is like um with a, a late night retro stream like you're gonna get comedy you're gonna get um uh, you're gonna get a lot of memes um abuse is also a common theme in that channel um traz you're gonna get a lot of swearing um you're gonna get a lot of um everyone getting along i want i want to say and a lot of shit talking um with a haseo stream you're gonna get a lot of um <laughs> a lot of modern i, I want to say modern like i thought haseo would play like like a fair bit of retro on his channel i've seen nothing but modern gameplay um but that's to be expected he got a brand new computer so you know, it's, you know, it is what it is. Like, with an Alex J. Paz stream, though, you never quite know what the fuck is going on. And that's in a good way. It, it could be, like, a music sort of stream. Music oriented. Because, uh, Alex is a very cultured person. He, um... I think you're trying to learn Spanish, right? And you're trying to learn, like, music theory and stuff like that. But also, it could be, like, a uh, completely off the rails, like, meme stream because of the alerts and stuff yeah it's just you never quite know what's what's gonna happen and that's like the fun of, a, of an Alex J. Pass stream with me you know what you're gonna get you're gonna get gameplay right down the middle and speaking of which this is about the time where I take my mandatory break so it's 7 to 11 but I'm instituting mandatory breaks so that I and not like sitting in a sedentary position the entire time we're gonna have a quick four minute break and then i'll come back okay music theory yes actually I, i'm just gonna have a break but i'm, I'm gonna be hanging out okay but I'm, I'm trying to be very strict myself we're gonna have breaks during my streams from now on and th and this is break number one all right so anyways i'll be hanging out in the chat I'll be back with you all on camera in a couple of minutes. But until then, enjoy the uh, the music in the BRB screen. Right? Look. BRB. All right, we're back. We're back. See, that was a quick break, and and quite necessary. I feel very refreshed. I feel very refreshed after my four minute break. Don't you also feel refreshed? Mm. Body, mind, soul. Mm, yes. Back to the game. All right. So, is everyone healed up? Uh, yeah. Everyone's healed up. Uh, let's go down here, I guess. Uh, uh no, damn it. Okay, let's let's go back up. Let's fully explore uh, runway. God damn it. Just let me live. I'll probably have to go back to the ship and then redo some areas. I'm so severely underleveled for this, but if I can get everyone like close to 30, I think it'll be alright. One other thing um, that I'd like everyone here to know, um, this isn't a hostage situation. If um, you all have things that you need to do, or want to do, or would prefer to be doing, um, Twitch has this wonderful feature called um, VOD, Video On Demand. Now, if you were like, okay, I really gotta do some other things, but like, this conversation is interesting. I kind of like hang out, hang out. Um, it's all right. I get it. Like the other urgent thing in your life, you do that. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just playing video games, man. I'm just hanging out. Like if you if you're curious to see where the conversation goes afterwards, you can just look at the blood later. But this 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 stream, it's not a prison. You're free to do what you want to do. Live your life. 
Alright, let's see. Can we run? Another. Oh! Oh my god. Damn. Uh, Ren... Can... can well, can either of them revive? Or did I just screw myself then? Well, I mean, Ren can recover himself. Okay. Oh, stop moving, Mike. Boom arm. I wish that I could fix the boom arm. And it's, it's, it's actually quite a well-known one. What is it called? Like a, a road... Like, this is a very recommended, um, boom. A microphone arm. Microphone boom arm. Hard to review. But, like, it, it keeps fucking moving. Yeah. But there are many things about my setup that if I could change them, I would, but... Because, like, we're currently in, like, a state of, like looking for another house at the moment. I feel like I can't unpack anything. I can't move anything around. I can't change things as... you know, to, to what I want. It's a bit annoying. But, uh, whatever. Alright. We can't revive anyone, so... we gotta get out of here. And the only way we can do that is with an escape pit. Let's go back to... Fuck it, Quran. I mean, my ass whooped on the, uh, the air palace there. won't be moonwalking anymore. Okay, good. Um... Wait... Do I have another escape? Yes, I do. Just in case I need to bail from the, uh, the air, air castle again. But this is where I gotta go. Who have I been watching on on, uh, on Twitch lately? I've been watching a lot of um, Methodical Eyes. He does um, a lot of um, different stuff, but he's mainly known for um, Friday the Thirteenth. Um, he's he's very um, personable, and I've had many conversations with him. Even like, even though he's got a very intimidating follow account compared to myself. Um, yeah, he's more than willing to talk to a little guy like me. So I've been in his streams a lot. Um, off and on, I'll be in uh, Lifted's stream, but... Like, I won't talk. I'll just be lurking. He does a lot of different things. Um, I think a lot of people are already familiar with Lifted. He's a good guy. That's how I was introduced um, to uh, Methodicalize um, through Lifted. Um, who else? Traz is very sporadic lately, um, because of his work situation. I get it. But, uh, I do pine for more Traz streams. I think we all do. Mr. Jaya has gone MIA, because he's, uh, he's also a, 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 a new father. So, he has limited spare time. Buscadetto, what's up, man? Hey, hey, hey. Eyes back. 
and I'll be on weekdays 7 to 11. Weekdays 7 to 11, mark it on your calendar. I've already marked it in my Twitch calendar. You'll be seeing lots more of my dumbass. Yes. But hope that you're well, Uskadaddle. Here if work. It's work. Oh yeah, no worries, no worries. Ooh, ooh. Never been a big RPG guy. Like, I try... Like, RPGs are just so chill though. Like, in terms of, like, stream. Like... So, there's a... Okay, for example, Mega Man for the NES. You've really got to be concentrating. You can't really be like... Da -da 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 -da. Oh, chat, da -da -da. That said, there are some people that are very skilled at Mega Man. Uh, for example, um, Game Squad Squad, Maximilian. Um, he he can talk to chat at the same time as playing that shit, but not my dumbass. Um, I do like JRPGs, but I, I if I had my way, I'd probably do more modern games. Uh, specifically modern indie. Slay the Spire. Chill man. Okay. I've heard of that game, but I've never played it. Like, um... There's like... I want to say there's like seven or eight, like... Modern indie games that I really want to play on stream. But... Like, because, like, I'm locked into my redeem scheme thing here... Like, you know... Ah... I've personally never been into that genre of games. Um... You know, like, deck building and using cards to decide battles. I've seen them around. Maybe I should give one a try. I've been avoidant of them. Yeah. Like, speaking of card games that I probably should know, but I don't. Like, Magic the Gathering. I probably... I probably should play it at least once, but... I like looking at the games. It's like, oh, that's an interesting game. What are you doing? Oh. I'll, I'll even watch YouTube videos and try to understand it, but I'm like, this is complicated. <laughs> this is complicated. I, I can't be fucked. Definitely not a dumbass based on the comment. Oh, no, no, no. I, I use big words. I use big words to fool people. Hmm. What's, what's an example of some of the games that I'm thinking of? Um... Okay, I think, um, Yoku's Express is one video. Some of Mara is another. Um, what are some other indie games? Uh, Blasphemous is one I've been looking at. Um, I guess you could consider this next one kind of indie. Project Zomboid. Like, uh, they're gonna be, um, dropping, uh, the Build 42 patch. Hopefully, by the end of June. Like, they've been working on it for a very long time. I'd like to stream some Project Zomboid. Like, I feel that that would be an interesting way to involve some of the people that come to my channel. Um, Deep Rock Galactic is not indie, but I do like playing that game. What's, a, what's one more indie game that I wanted to play? Probably Supplies. I, I mentioned that before. Um... Yeah, like, like I say, there's like a lot of modern that I'd like to stream, but I'm kind of locked into like doing these JRPGs at the moment, but... Yeah. Someone uh, told me about Loot Hero. Loot? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I, I've seen that one. Again, like, a, when a lot of these indie games drop, it's like $30. With like, you know, first week discount of 20% off, and I'm like... Nah, I'm not paying twenty dollars for a game I might only play once. Like I'll, I'll I'll wait like I'll wait like five months. I'll wait six months, and then when it's on sale for like ninety percent off, that's when I'll strike. That's when I'll strike. When it's when it's one dollar. Like I'm I'm such a cheap ass. I do that so often. Like I'll I'll wait until like like a triple A game. Like it's been out for five years, and then it gets discounted like 80%. And I'm like, okay, now is the time. Now is my, now is my time to strike. Exactly, Alex. Like, like with Epic, like the Epic um, Game Store, they're giving away one or two games a week. 
so I like I don't even have the epic launcher installed I just collect the games it's the same with GOG like I'll just, I'll just collect the free games I'm like yeah yeah all these free games yeah I'll play them when I'm retired I think so too is skedaddle like I, I understand that like game studios need to recoup costs and all that shit but like if it's like a 30 year old game well okay okay let's not get a stream here if it's like a game that came out like you know in you know 2011 like say Skyrim like look I'm not dropping 30 I'm not dropping 30 on it I have but I haven't recently like what was the last game I bought on release oh <laughs> no, it couldn't have been Skyrim. Because Skyrim, Skyrim, I did get on release. I think a lot of people did. Um, shit, was that the last game I got on release? Surely not. Because th th there's been some indie games, of course, that you get day one. Because like you, you, you become aware of them, and then you wish list them, and then it's like, oh, you know, like. It's out, uh, buy it, and I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, I'll buy that, day one. Oh, but you're talking like pre-release games. No, no, I, I haven't, like, um, you know, is it, is that what you, you call it, pre-release? Or like you put a pre-order in? No, I, I don't, I don't pre-order. Um, and I think when, um, Cyberpunk, um, when that whole thing happened, I think that reinforced my, my my stance on that never never pre-order a lot of people get stunned though like especially like you know people that play games like call of duty like they'll just pre-order it because they, they need to get the game day one but i've never been that guy oh fallout 4 nah bethesda they always seem to discount like you know within a year which is good but yeah I, 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 yeah. But I can see how you'd want to, um, pre-order Fallout 4. The hype for that was fucking huge. And I, I remember, like, like, there, there were so many controversies. Like, they were, they were going to give, like, a, a pre-release, like, nylon bag. Which turned out to be made of, like, a different material that, like, ripped it really easy or some shit. But Bethesda did some, like, weird shit with some of their older games. Oh yeah, 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 I've been consistently broke my entire life too, Chris. Like, I I live with a poverty mindset, and that's a good thing. I'm frugally minded. Last half full. Last half full. And the way that I look at it, it's like, why would I why would I pre-order like a hundred dollar game? You know, like Hogwarts Le Legacy. I was I was semi interested in playing that, but then I was like, why wait and pre-order that? when I could simply play a game from 30 years ago instead. And here we are. Here we are. It's all just, you know, different ways of wasting time, I guess. Um... Uh, Akira. Streamer is talking a lot this stream, isn't he? Isn't a streamer. Streamer talking too much. Streamer need to play game. I know. <laughs> I know. That streamer's bad. Mm. Like, if they gave like lots of incentive, like, oh, if you pre-order, you can get like this art poster, the soundtrack, and um, the the battle pass, and the dirt dirt to the get access to the day zero fucking DLC that should have been in the main game but we hold a DLC because we're assholes like when when they give you like a whole package like that you, you start thinking to yourself mmm mmm that looks quite tasty mmm maybe I should pre-order you almost always get fucked with that mindset so that's why like never pre-order I agree Chris I don't think any game in history you could say like yeah that was worth the pre-order not a single one so why do people still do it